So guys, I wanted to do a video today on a fragrance that one of you had recommended to me to buy. So I did buy it, and yesterday I featured it in my uh, video of 21 fragrances that are the cheapest in my collection. Not all of them are there, but I decided to do a video. I could do a part two. But this one was featured in there, Pret-a-Provence number 63. It's a tobacco-ish, uh, spicy, ambery, woody fragrance. And I'm going to tell you all about this one as it's only 25 bucks. So if you want to find out about Pret-a-Provence number 63 Eau de Toilette, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sir Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, I'm doing a review today for an inexpensive fragrance that I bought that you guys had recommended to me. I thought I'd do this video because, you know, it is a great value for what you get. Uh, even though the smell of this fragrance reminds me of other fragrances, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, I feel like uh, it's definitely worth to do uh, a video about this particular uh, fragrance. And, and also, you know, just to highlight this particular brand because they have, uh, the brand has um, multiple products centered around this particular fragrance for shaving. So they have a men's collection of shaving and uh, grooming products and of course this is the fragrance. But the weird thing was I couldn't find the fragrance on their website. But I'll tell you all about the fragrance. But before we do that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this is a very inexpensive fragrance somebody had told me about and I decided to do it because I like the name of the house, Pre de Provence. I spent so much time in Provence. I love that region of France. And I thought, you know what, let's give it a chance, especially since it's only 25 bucks for 100 ml. So basically it's about 25 uh, cents per milliliter which basically works out to be 25 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. So it's very, very inexpensive. And I have a link to Amazon. This is where I found the fragrance. I went to their website. And again, they were there was 11 or 12 different products in this line, number 63, which the fragrance is called. But the fragrance wasn't listed there, so I wasn't sure what was going on. But the fragrance was sold at multiple places, but I found it at Amazon for 25 bucks. And it wasn't like only a certain amount left. There was a bunch of them left, so there was not a quantity mentioned. Hurry, buy 25 only left or something like that. But it's an Eau de Toilette concentration. I can't find a perfumer name. I can't find a year of release. But a couple of places did say that it was on 2018 it was launched. Either way, notes for this fragrance are in the top citruses, pepper, and I feel like there's black pepper or pink pepper in the mix. In the heart, you have cedarwood, plum, and violet leaves. In the base notes, you have amber, leather, and tobacco. I'll say it again, it's a very inexpensive fragrance from a very unknown brand. So Pret-a-Provence, don't know about them, but you know, I have heard about them and I do see their products when I visit Provence because they're known for soap. Provençal soap is one of my favorite things. Whenever I go to that region, I buy a bunch of soap and bring it back with me because I love soaps. I'm obsessed with soaps. And of course, when you're walking around in these like little um, markets that sell these soaps in, in, the, in the south of France and Provence, they have so many different smells and you can pick one up and smell, pick another one that smell. And they have so many different, uh, you know, varieties of smells, lavenders and citruses and roses and, you know, almonds and musk and uh, lime and lemons and just you name it. There are tons of them, and this brand is known for that, for soaps. I think that's what they're known for, because when you go to their website, you'll see a ton of different soaps, and then you'll see all kinds of like beauty products and grooming products, all southern French um, Provençal kind of focused. So for me, as I said in the video yesterday, it reminds me of three different fragrances. It reminds me of uh, Spice Bomb from the house of, uh, you know, uh, Victor and Rolf. And of course, what's reminding me of that fragrance is the fact that it has black or pink pepper at the top notes with the uh, tobacco note in the base. So that's that's one thing that kind of reminds me of it. It also reminds me of Hanemori Hem. I've worn Hanemori Hem in the early 2010s. I haven't worn it since then. And I feel like it reminds me of that fragrance. And, uh, you know, of course, the combination of Spice Bomb. But it also reminds me of one more fragrance. Fragrance. It reminds me of Burberry London. So I feel like this is basically a combination of those three notes. It could be an addition of other notes. So in the end, were those the inspiration for this fragrance? It could be uh, the fact that they're not identical, but they hint at all three of those fragrances is, is a good thing because if you've been wanting to buy a bottle of Spice Bomb, and, and that rarely goes down under uh, $80, I think, for a 
what's the sizes? They're, uh, they're off sizes, they're not necessarily 100 ml. So this actually, I feel like it's definitely a very inexpensive price to replace that one. So this one starts off with a little bit of citrus and then immediately you get the black pepper or pink pepper. I couldn't figure out if it's one or the other, it just said peppers. But for me, it reminds me of pink pepper more than black pepper because black pepper makes you sneeze, even in perfume, but um, or almost gets you to the point of sneezing. But with this one, there's a little bit of a light, uh, rosy uh, quality with the uh, pink pepper at the top as well, along with the citruses. So in the end, I felt like it was pink pepper instead of black pepper. So it is a peppery start and is a little citrusy, but immediately you get some fruitiness and then some uh, woody touches in the heart with the cedar wood and uh, a little bit of uh, ozonic touches, green touches with the violet leaves. But I feel like since the, the tobacco is what's really the, the the note, the main note of this fragrance, you can start picking up the tobacco early on because it's pretty much dominating throughout the whole fragrance. But in the base, you also pick up some light gooey touches of amber and some leather. Leather is not so prominent. Uh, it's lightly there, so don't worry if you don't like leather because it's not really potent and stand out. But in the end, I feel like it's a, it's a solid release for the 25 bucks. If I was on a budget, this is the kind of fragrance I would wear. I feel like it's a very, very quality. It doesn't smell cheap. It smells expensive uh, for what you get, but it's not like a luxury fragrance. Uh, the, that's the negative thing about this fragrance. In the end, when I am so used to all these wonderful niche uh, luxury kind of styling of fragrances, this doesn't compare because I've smelled it before. I've smelled it in countless fragrances, not only the three fragrances I mentioned, I've, I've smelled it in other fragrances that kind of focus on tobacco, very designer tobacco fragrances. So for me, this is not something I would wear currently, and I'm being upfront and honest with you guys, but as me sharing, uh, you know, my ideas or thoughts about a fragrance and how quality they are, if you are on a budget yourself, I would look into something like this and get it for yourself because it, not only does it smell great, performance was pretty solid. I, I got about five and a half to six hours with this one, maybe pushing it to six and a half hours. And then a couple of days, I felt like it was a little less than five and a half hours. So it's kind of like fluctuating between five and six and a half hours for me as far as a, you know the performance. But it's not a loud fragrance. I just want to stress it's not like an overly loud fragrance. It does have some loudness in one hour after you spray it but after that I felt like um, it's pretty skin scenty but it's actually a fantastic smell it's a great smell and once again I'll say this uh, if I didn't if I was not so deep into this hobby of uh, knowing all niche and luxury fragrances this is the kind of fragrance I would get I would be very happy the fact that it was discovered or you know thank you for the recommendation whoever you were I appreciate it but I would discover a fragrance like this and I would like you know wear it and, and enjoy it because in the end uh, if I wasn't in the space that I am now I've always w was always after the discounted and uh, inexpensive fragrances and when you find a fragrance that's inexpensive and it also smells good it doesn't smell bad or cheap you know some fragrances um, are inexpensive and they actually perform and are smelling cheap as well but this smells expensive in the end it smells uh, similar to spice bomb it smells similar to hanamori him it smells similar to uh, you know burberry london so it has quality to it it has um, it doesn't smell like what it costs is what i'm trying to say so it smells expensive but it smells designer it doesn't smell niche it doesn't smell luxury it doesn't smell like a crazy indie out there kind of a fragrance it's a mass appealing uh, you know tobacco fragrance that's a spicy and ambery and woody um, I, I feel like it's a solid release and it's a perfect perfect scent for fall because um, a little warmth out there still with the fall weather and cool as well the combination of the two and I feel this is gonna be perfect for that kind of a, a weather I think you can wear it all year round it might be a little too strong during the warmer months but uh, for sure any cool days uh, this is great now I'm curious to ex explore more about this house and see what else they have but I feel like this is pretty much um, the only fragrance they have for men I don't know if they have women's fragrances I didn't really dig deep into their website I just learned that they are from Provence and I have recognized their soaps because I've seen them and now I'm curious to see what else
else they have. But one more thing I want to say, this was available in addition to Amazon at other uh, retailers online. It was a little more expensive than what Amazon was charging of $25.30. And those other websites were websites that sold men's grooming products and shaving products. So they're really pushing the shaving and men's grooming and uh, barber shop kind of a theme with this uh, particular uh, fragrance and collection so those of you guys that are into those shaving things the barbershop and all that kind of stuff might be into this particular fragrance as well so check it out it's Pret de Provence number 63 Eau de Toilette currently at Amazon for 2530 I have a link in the info box if you want to check it out there other than that that's my uh, video for you today have you heard of this brand Pret de Provence do you know this fragrance number 63 Eau de Toilette check it out I think you're gonna like it anyway thanks so much for watching today's video if you have any questions or comments please list below otherwise please like this video please share it follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye